This is for you. Wow, they're beautiful. Yes? Of course, but mother. The girl's fiancé resembled her physically. They are like two miniatures hanging side by side on white wood panels. He should have been a young officer in Nelson's navy in the days when a certain weakness and sensitivity were no bar to promotion. You know you don't get on with me. This way, we shall be quite independent. You? You'll be independent? So why, Jay? Wouldn't really suit you, would it? I spoke to my public, sir, about you, and there's a very good chance if you began to some But I don't know a thing about books. I would have you at the start. My mother says writing is a good rut. Finding the bells and have the paper back rice is a pretty solid crunch. This chap is good, isn't it? I dare say. He had not the Nelson touch. He was doomed to defeat. Do you know what Mr. White said? Who's White? Darling, you don't listen, do you? My publisher. He said he hadn't read first novel in the last 10 years to show such powers of observation. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Only he wants me to change the title. He doesn't like the ever rolling stream. He wants to change it to the Jesse set. What did you say? Great. I do think that with the first novel, one should try to keep one's publisher happy. Especially when really he is paying for our marriage now. I see what you mean. The girl looked at them, and then she looked at me, but I think she saw only the future. I wanted very much to warn her against any future based on a first novel called The Chelsea Set. I was on the side of his mother. It was a humiliating thought, but it was probably about her mother's age. I wanted to say to her, are you certain your publisher is telling you the truth? Publishers are human. They may sometimes exaggerate the virtues of the young and the pretty. Will the Chelsea set be read in five years? Are you prepared for the years of effort, the long defeat of doing nothing well? As the years pass, writing will not become any easier. The daily effort will grow harder to endure. Those powers of observation will become enfeebled. You will be judged when you've reached your 40s by performance and not by promise. My next novel is going to be about Saint-Tropez. I didn't know you had ever been there. I haven't. 
a fresh ice terribly important. I thought we might settle down there for six months. There wouldn't be much left of the advance by that time. The advance is only an advance. I would get 15% after 5,000 copies and 20% after 10. And of course, another advance will be due, darling, when the next book is finished, a bigger one, if the Chelsea set sells well. But suppose it doesn't. What do I say? It will. It's ought to be. My uncle would start me at 1200. But darling, how could you come then to Central Bay? Perhaps we would do better to marry when, when you come back. I mightn't come back if the Chelsea says so enough. Oh. Is this Carl? No. I got the title for the next book, The Other Blue. I thought the other was blue. You don't really want to be married to a novelist, do you? You aren't one yet. Of course, <laughs> I was born one. Mr. White said my power of observation yes. is... Yes, you told me that. But dear, couldn't you observe a bit in your home? You're in London. I've done that in the Jersey set. I don't want to repeat myself. This is my celebration. What's up? The Chelsea says, of course, darling, you're awfully decorated. But sometimes you simply don't connect. I'd rather, if you don't mind. No, darling, this is on me. And Mr. Y, of course. The two young people were thought to be matching miniatures, but in fact, they weren't. The same type of prettiness could contain weakness and strength. Her Regency counterpart, I suppose, would have born a dozen children without the aid of anesthetics. I wonder what oh, Japanese are doing uh, here. Japanese? What Japanese, Japanese are you? Sometimes you're so amazing. I think you don't want to marry me at all one who would have fallen an easy victim to the first dark eyes in Naples. Would there one day be a dozen books on her shelf? They have to be born without an anesthetic too. I found myself hoping that the Chelsea set would prove to be a disaster and that eventually she would take up photographic modeling while he established himself solidly in the wide tray in St. James. I didn't like to think of her as the Mrs. Humphrey Ward of her generation, not that I would live so long. Old age saves us from the realization of a great many fears. I wonder to which publishing firm White belonged. I could imagine the blurb he would have already written about her abrasive powers of observation. There would be a photo, if it was White, on the back of the jacket for reviewers as well as publishers are human and she didn't look like Mrs. Humphrey World.